like three people, three people. Two of the people were not, they were not people that he really knew. I think they were brought in. Um, I struggle with saying the other thing that I kind of picked up from him was who was behind this. Um, cause again, that I don't really want to put that out there and have any issues, but I will just say that it was someone that he knew very well. Friends, but not, not a friend isn't someone that you've known for a long time that you love and care about and is very, very close to you. Not that type of friend, but a friend associate, we'll put it that way. So, yeah, I'm not going to, I mean, I did kind of explore a little bit myself, um, but I'm not going to put that out there. Uh, just because, again, in this work, I don't have anything factual, so everything will be allegedly. I mean, might take my work seriously, and for me, it's true because I believe that I've honed my ability enough to... Uh, if I have something to bring forth and say, then, you know, I, discernment. Discernment is what I mean, is that I use my discernment um, before I speak it. You know, before I put it out into the, into the world, I have to discern it first. And if it doesn't feel right, I'm not going to say it. And if I don't know, I'm not going to say it either. We don't get everything. <laughs> you know, and sometimes it's comes through different ways and you have to decipher it yourself, you know. Sometimes you only get little bits of information um, and then sometimes you get a whole story. So, I would say that in time, a little more of the actual truth will come out because it's a theme right now it it, it it does blend with the other big situation that's out there which maybe I'll do a video later um, with that I don't know I don't feel that right yet but maybe um, but it there's a blending there there's something that's connected whether it's just a similar um, <laughs> the similar storyline the similar uh, ongoing, you know, behind the scenes. Uh, there's definitely something there that's very hidden. But at the same time, those who hide what they do, participate, they always leave clues. They always ha leave something because that is part of how it works. You must, you must leave some information in plain sight. Many will not get it. Most will not get it. But those who do will see it. Um, they'll pick up on it. And that's what I feel is or has taken place. Um, even though the picture in some sense is very distasteful, it's very hard for the family, for, you know... Well, he has a son, you know, for that to be out there. It's very, I guess that was confirmation, <laughs> Abel. Um, but it also serves a purpose on another level because it can give clues as to maybe there's more to this. There's much more going on here. Okay. So I'm going to leave it at that right now because I, I feel that Liam really has to fully cross over. And I feel that that's, I do feel that that's happening. Um, today it's five days. So technically, as I said, the, the, the bridge, <laughs> the bridge lifts <laughs> within six days. Uh, so it's really up to him, but I do feel that he, he is fully crossing. And in that way, uh, we may get, much more, many more signs from him. 
to bring more clarity to this. So I say, you know, I bless this soul. Thank you for your presence on this earth. Um, and those who, you know, were tuned into you and your music and the gift that you shared with the world, um, you know, thank you for that. And I hope that your next soul journey is much more <laughs> evolved that you don't have to exit in this way or to deal with that anymore. I don't know. Nobody can really say. Nobody can say. So I'll leave it at that and say thank you for tuning in. Um, if you enjoyed this, I would appreciate a like and subscribe. I am going to return to my channel and hopefully bring some more insightful videos. It's uh, it's my intuitive sense plus my two cents. So my two cents is the little extra bit of my own feelings of it. Uh, not necessarily that, that that's what I tuned into or I brought forth. It's just my own, my own feeling about it. So it's not very mm, metaphysical, but at the same time, because that's really who I am. So they, they, they work together. So I hope that you will tune in and come back and uh, another time. And I send many blessings and love to anybody. And if you want to share, feel free or, you know, in the comments, or if you actually have a circumstance or an event out there, a current event that you would like me to tune into, to give my intuitive sense and two cents, then please write it there and I will uh, tune in to see that, whether or not I will do that. So, sending much love again and blessings. Take care. Okay, so it's one in the morning, and I've been trying for several hours to edit and put together this video. Well, I had to end up being two parts, as you see, so I apologize with that. There were a few things that were interfering. So, I look at it that you know, I, everything to me has divine timing. So I look at it that it didn't matter that I'm half asleep, that I still had to, um, you know, wait before I could put that out there publicly. And also, as I'm feeling right now, which happens when you're sort of in the quiet, quiet of the night, and you're, you know, much more relaxed in a sense, uh, sleepy, actually, and the dogs are barking in the background. But um, sometimes you become much more sensitive at this time. So <clears throat> there was a couple of things I just wanted to say. Was that he definitely has crossed at this point. Like the difference for me, this is just how I operate, how I feel. There's, a, there's quite a difference in connecting. Energetically, I can sense that there isn't um, fragmented pieces still here. But it's also a very sensitive time once you cross over. Um, you know, I don't know. Every soul is really different. I had a near-death experience that I talked about once a long time ago on my channel. You know, so everybody experiences things differently, but, you know, obviously at this point, his is not a near death, it was a full death uh, from this body to move on to whatever's next for him. But I feel like that that's going to take some time because he really went through a lot of things while he was here, like a lot of people um, do in the entertainment industry. There's so much darkness there. Oh, wow. It can really just break somebody down. You know, your passion and your drive for that which you love to do, you know, sing, act, etc. You know, it's what, it, it's what helps you get through a lot of those things. You know, some people can go far and some people cannot. Their mental state. Some people are tougher than others. Others more resilient, you know, and so, but then it tends to build up within the body, within this, 
your your emotional body or you know it just overall it uh, can wear you down and so you either become fragmented within your mind or depending on what you went through what type of whether it's abuse or mental emotional physical abuse it, it really depends and each person has a different psyche so Anyways, where I'm going with this is that there's a lot more darkness here that I don't even know if it will come out into the public or not. Maybe bits of it. Some people will pick up on it with other intuitive psychics, mediums, people that will pick up a lot of different things. This is what I get at this time. And you might find that there are some threads that link to other situations that are going on right now. Um, I'll just say, say maybe with the, the Diddy case, there's, there's so many people that have experienced similar things in that industry. And you know, it really took a toll on a lot of people. There's divine timing of everything. And this really is time that a lot of the darkness needs to be illuminated, meaning that a lot of people are going to learn what has been hidden. And unfortunately, some of those who wanted to come forth and talk about truths and share different things, you know, some of them just don't make it. I'm not saying that that's all of what happened with Liam. There feels like there is a lot of different levels there within him and a lot of different things that took place. There's a lot of shady people around him. There's a lot of people that cared about him. But I think he felt very alone in what it is that he had to deal with. It was a struggle. It really was a struggle. And then you're dealing with a lot of other components, too. There's people who have control of the mind, um, that program. <laughs> I need to do another one. I probably will need to do another one. I don't need to, but if I feel to, I will. If I feel the prompting from him. It's very different for me now, the sensation or the, the, the sense that I get from him. I feel like there has to be time for him to... Just process on a soul level certain things. So I kind of leave it at that um, for now. But I welcome your comments. And, um, you know, you never know. People can pick up on other things too. And really the, the whole point of this is to send your love, you know, and hope that the journey that he chose to experience because we do and we in a sense co-create with life to a certain degree um it had value it had importance and i just want to give him gratitude for that and uh, you know may his next journey be much more fulfilling all right, I'm going to say goodnight and take care. Thank you for listening.